Hi everybody. Hey, uh, this is John again. I just wanted to do a review of the uh, Lacrosse Technology Digital Atomic Wall Clock. I had gotten this uh, wall clock a long time ago, and um, but I never did a review of it. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I bought it off online and Amazon, and um, it's not too bad. Uh, I intend to purchase a another weather instrument um, but the next one is going to be a lot better i'm not saying that this is bad but this has actually been pretty good it's been accurate so uh this is called the lacrosse technology it's model w86111 and um it also comes out with an outdoor uh sensor and uh i'm going to show you that in a little bit so uh, let's just start off. It also comes with a set of instructions, as you can see over here. Uh, it tells you how to set the clock, um, what batteries that you need for this, okay, and also um, how to set up the outdoor sensor. The outdoor sensor and this has to be paired together in order for this to be set. And then you can set the outdoor sensor by itself but it has to be in close proximity so let's go ahead and uh let's just start talking this again is the lacrosse technology model w86111 okay and it also comes out um uh, so first of all when you unbox it okay um you're gonna put two double a batteries in the back okay that's what it requires all right the outdoor sensor also requires two AA batteries, so you're going to need to get a total of four batteries for both units. All right. So um, the instruction booklet also tells you how to set the time, the date, and everything setting up uh, both of these is, is relatively simple. It's not really that difficult. Um, since I've had the unit, it is very accurate. Um, I never had any problems. Um, the only time that I've had to, uh, only problems with it is that when this unit itself, when the batteries went dead, I just had to reset it. But um, you can just pretty much basically either set it on the table or hang it on the wall. What I do is I hang it on the wall. Um, it really, uh, you know, uh, kind of gives me an accurate reading of when it's going to rain to a certain degree. It's not really like the other units that are out there. Um, it's just, uh, it's pretty good technology, but um, if I was to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it a, I would 7. So, um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It also does give you the uh, temperature indoors, as well as outdoors. So, if you see the temperature over there to the left, it's 81. Point three. That's the temperature inside the house, and the eighty-five point eight. Um, that's the temperature outside. And yes, that's Texas. We're cooling down. Thank God. We're getting better weather. Um. Uh, uh, the icon that you see to the upper left, uh, under the PM, that's going to be an icon that shows that um. Uh, uh, that it's. Uh, transmitting to the uh, place where the atomic clock is 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 uh, is, uh, is 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 taking care of the the the, uh, the unit. The icon that is right next to the eighty five point eight uh, shows you. I'm going a little bit closer. Um, if you guys can see it. Okay, shows you that um, the unit outside is transmitting uh, to the unit inside, but it's working. Okay, as you can see, the 85.8 is flashing. That means that, um, you know, that, that there's a temper change going on. Um, I just recently changed the battery on the outside, and I always try to keep it updated um, to make sure that the battery isn't... Um, that the battery isn't uh, dying. Like I said before, this is a pretty good unit, but I am looking to get 
one that's mount I can mount on the top of the house. Um, you know, checks barometer, rainfall uh, measure. So I am looking for one with all the bells and whistles. But right now, uh, I had settled for this, and I've had this for a real long time. I just, I yes, I did get this at Walmart. Okay, all right. Walmart's really not that bad. Um, you know, uh, I paid an average price uh, anywhere between $27 to $29 for it. Okay, so it's pretty good. All right. In the middle, uh, it does tell you the uh, if it's going to be a full sun, uh, if it's going to be uh, sunny, partly sunny, it's going to be cloudy, um, rainy, or stormy. So um, it is uh, relatively accurate. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead outside, and I'm going to show you the what the sensor looks like um, when you have to pair the things together. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this is a picture of the outdoor sensor. Um, you have to pair this with the main unit that I just showed you, but you have to do it together. Now, if you see that little light, um, or the light will come on, flashing, okay, that'll show you that the sensor is working, all right? Um, when you first initially set up uh, both the clock, you have to pair both of them together. There has to be some type of distance between the main unit and the sensor, um, but the book will, instruction booklet will tell you. Again, it takes uh, two AA batteries. Preferably if you just get, uh, instead of wasting money of constantly buying batteries, what I do, eventually I'm switching over to rechargeables. So that's gonna help it out. That way I don't have to keep buying batteries and just keep uh, replacing them. Um, this one has been pretty good. It's lasted me over a long time. This thing has been sitting in really bad weather, um, rain, and it's and it's still working. Okay. Um, if you see these graded right over here, this is where uh, it takes the temperature, and then um, where all the the readings are at. Everything is in here. So, and. Let's go ahead and go back to the main unit. All right, so again, another picture of the main unit. And then on the bottom, you can see that's the instruction booklet they give you. Uh, they don't include the batteries, so you are going to have to buy the batteries when you buy the unit. I do recommend this. It's great for a beginner if you're interested in weather or um, if you're just interested in having a really nice uh, wall unit that gives you the date and the time and the temperature. Um, it's not too bad. Well, uh, I really appreciate you watching the video. Thank you. If you want to like, subscribe, or comment. And have a great day. Bye.